With gentrification in Fishtown, Philadelphia came artists, artisans, musicians, and those that stand at the apex of all three, guitar pedal builders. Comatones out? Yeah, these are, that's pretty cool. These are probably one of the most... Uh, Technologically think, advanced. Yeah. I'm Paris Riley, and this is Stomp Docs. Stomp Docs! With so much in media competition, Philly builders have taken a deep dive to try to create truly unique guitar pedals. Which color you want to use? Let's do half blue, half white. Can you mix these? Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. I went to meet with Ray Stolich to check out his pedal creation, which he believes to be truly unique among the pantheon of pedals. Like a lot of other people, I was in a band in art school. I was interested in modding my electro harmonics pedals. I spent a lot of time on the forums for people that are into that kind of stuff. I decided this could really be something I'm passionate about. If the battery gets disconnected in a gig, that could that could make a problem. I mean, the, I don't think a gig is really our concern at this point. Just make it look good. Together with his friend Carl, they founded Catatonics. At first we were dabbling with uh, fuzz pedal, reverb, flanger. That kind of stuff. One day, Ray came to me in a flurry, and uh, he had this this crazy idea, and he said, "Hey, can we can we put this together?" Uh, I didn't really get it, but uh, I went to work and put together a schematic. The product of this sudden burst of inspiration was the Comatone, which Ray promises me is a guitar pedal the likes of which the world has never seen. It has a switch that you can press with your foot and a little indicator LED to tell you whether it's on or off. You press the button, and the LED goes on to tell you that it's on. So as you can hear with your ears, the tone has not changed. And forgive me if I'm, you know, speaking out of line, but don't all pedals let you know if they're on or off? They do. And this is like other pedals in that way. Okay. We're not breaking from format in that way. But when I turn it off, you'll notice no change. Wow. Why would you want it to do that? For me, it's about opening up the possibilities of freedom. I don't really want to answer these questions about why or what. It's about opening up a dialogue. You're asking for a thousand dollars for this pedal. Why a thousand dollars? thousand dollars is a nice whole number. For a pedal, people will remember that. Whether or not the prototype sells for its asking price remains to be seen. The real question is, how much uncharted territory remains in the world of effects and pedals?